What is up, YouTube? How is everybody out there doing today? I hope you guys are having a fabulous freaking day. It's been a while since I made a video. I know. I know. Please don't yell at me. Please don't bitch at me in the comments. You know, I've been busy. You know, Thanksgiving came and went. You know, we had a good Thanksgiving, me and the boys. The boys and I, the boy proper English, the boys and I had a really good Thanksgiving. Smoked a turkey, made homemade German dumplings. Did a little Instagram post on it too. Go check out Instagram right there. Um, but we had a good Thanksgiving. I hope everybody out there had a good Thanksgiving as well. It's now, you know, uh, the next month here and um, it's Christmas so It's just almost Christmas time now. <laughs> That's crazy. Crazy how fast things go by. Hey, we yawning. And the reason why I'm yawning because so, a little bit of a story, a little bit of a background story. Zach got pulled over in the Cobalt, and there was a discrepancy with uh, my insurance company and the great state of Pennsylvania. And uh, I now have to go to PennDOT to straighten that out and prove to them that everything was good to go when they, for some reason, thought everything wasn't good to go. And unfortunately, the Cobalt's plate was taken by the police officer that pulled Zach over. Um, but I'm going to PennDOT this morning to fix it all and get my damn plate back. Uh, so this is not my fault. This is actually PennDOT's fault. This is their problem that now I need to take time out of my precious day, my busy, busy precious day to go to PennDOT 45 minutes away, 50 minutes away in Harrisburg to fix, which I'm going to do um, right now. So that's one of the reasons why I'm in the truck driving around. Then on the way back, I think what we're going to do is we're going to stop and see Doc and maybe go see something that hasn't been on the channel for a very, very, very long time that, uh, we need to start moving on guys. Um, and as you've seen per the thumbnail, you know what we're going to be looking at, you know what we're going to be doing. So, uh, keep watching the video and, uh, you'll see my really beautiful boat that I've had for a very long time that has gone through so many stupid stages of a build. It's ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so let's go to PennDOT, get that situated first. I'm not gonna show any video of that, obviously, because you can't really have a camera in PennDOT. They don't like that kind of stuff. But um, let's go to PennDOT, get my plate back. And then we'll go ahead and head over to docks real quick and go visit my boat. So let's get moseying along, guys. shop right now and then we're gonna go look at the boat I definitely wanted to specify something here so I definitely wanted to give Duramax tuner a big shout out I'm going 71 miles an hour and look at my rpm look at that 15 1600 rpm at 70 miles almost 73 miles an hour 505,000 miles on the truck that's their five to six feet conversion in this transmission it's been working phenomenal for the last god 20,000 miles that I've had it in here maybe 15,000 miles. I occasionally get questions about it, so I definitely wanted to give them a little bit of a, a shout out there for Duramax Tuner um, on their five to six speed conversion setup on this truck. It's been working flawlessly. It's been working great. I am super duper happy about that thing, guys. It's been saving me gas mileage too. Definitely been saving me gas mileage. But let's head over to dock and go see the boat and uh, go from there, guys. That way you can finally get an update on the good old freaking boat. 
my freaking boat. Let's go, let's go. If you guys remember, and maybe you can kind of know what we're doing here, if you guys can remember, way, way back on the channel, I, uh, I have a boat um, that's been sitting for a while with some stuff done. And I bought it a long time ago and it's been getting rebuilt and redone and you know over the years it's been sitting for a while now but uh, i figured i wanted to come up here and show you guys what i have and remind you guys of what's going on with it and hopefully get some some suggestions on what we should do to this boat um once once we get her back to where we need to get her to but uh here she is guys we're gonna go ahead and go inside we're gonna show you the inside of the boat and everything and what's been done up to this point but uh here you go Oh, he just said what? Doc just said wow. Actually, I'm I'm lying. That's not my boat. It's this is my boat right here. That's my boat. <laughs> my awesome new boat right there. <laughs> nah, that's not my boat. <laughs> I want that to be my boat. I would love to have that boat, or that one, or any of them. <laughs> but this is really the boat right here. 23 foot, Century 4500 Sport. That's been repainted. As you guys can see, it was not uh, originally this color. Um, it was originally black, or originally uh, blue and red, I think, or something with a white. But uh, this has now been painted black altogether. It's been wrapped up ever since. It was like a baby blue, white with a stripe, maybe. I'll also insert pictures right here of what it looks like without the cover on, obviously. That way you guys can get a better idea of what this thing looks like without the cover on it. Obviously, we had it shrink wrapped because we didn't want anything getting inside during the build process. And Doc did that. He did all the shrink, ramp, shrink wrapping on it. He did a very, very good job at it, too. So, three years, buddy. yeah, three years has been sitting uh, all torn apart and stuff. Uh, what are, What's all been done to this thing again? <laughs> it's been cut from the back to the front. Everything brand new. Stringers, floor. Yeah, so everything's been cut out of it. The paint job, everything's been cut out of it. Yeah, the whole flooring's been redone. New foam, all new foam in this thing yep. too. Like yep. the entire entire interior, front, front to back, front to is back. all new foam. Like it's pretty much a brand new boat basically, except for the fact that it's a 1989, which doesn't make it very brand new anymore. And you can open, the zipper's open. You oh, can, can you? See all the stuff playing. In there. We're gonna go up here and check it out. Hopefully you guys can see it. Ugh. All right, guys, let's, oh yeah, see, watch. Oh, look at this, you're gonna like this. This is good stuff right here. Look at that. So that's the interior. And you can see the floor is done right back there. My gas tank's right there. As you can see, new transom, new everything. We don't wanna take this vinyl off right now because we're not ready to really do anything with it. So we're basically just, figured I was up here, figured I'd take a look at it. There we go. Yeah, buddy. This thing's going to be pretty pretty awesome when it's done. It's a little cubby cabin. So it has a little cubby cabin in the back there. Or in the front, I'm sorry. And it has a port john Yes, it has a port john We can take a piss, a piss on the water, guys. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> so yeah, that's the boat. Um, so there's a few plans we have. I don't know. Doc's against a few of them. Like a Turbo LS. 5.3 liter swap <laughs> what do you want to put in it 454 big block 572 with a blower there you go yeah the thing I have is blowers on it so why not yeah that fuck it full send right full yeah. send with a bravo outdrive will that fit a bravo outdrive oh yeah Yep. So we can put a Bravo hot dive in this thing and be good to go. Yep, we haven't even cut the hole yet. Oh, so, oh, okay, so that's, what's what's there behind that piece of wood now? That's just to keep 
No, that does have the whole cut. It's cut yeah. by Alpha, that's right. So can you can it be recut for a Bravo in the future? Yeah, it's just a little bit, a couple different cuts. Oh, okay. That's that's pretty good. It also has trim tabs too. This boat came with trim tabs when I bought it. Yep. What do they do? They help level the boat out and keep the front end down. So when we're making a plane easier. So when we're making a thousand horsepower. One way or the other. Making a thousand horsepower, it's gonna keep it level and ready to go. We'll have to extend the tabs. No, we'll be fine. I I got a welder. I got a welder, some sheet metal. Hey, two shorts, two short, buddy. No matter how you get. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the zipper broke off. <laughs> nice job, Tim. <laughs> I couldn't get it back on. Listen, it happened to the dinosaur suit I bought too, and I got stuck in my dinosaur suit. Some children's people. I'm telling you. I don't think you can fix it. I tried to zipper it down. I was going to be nice. Zipper it down for you. And it broke anyways. My trailer's looking good. A little bit of rust. What's that? Still one piece. Yeah. Good thing you got me so you don't have storage bills. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Yeah. This is true. No storage bills with Doc. Not at least not for me. I'm family, so. <laughs> There's the front of the boat. Right there. Not a bad boat. Use nothing but the exterior hull. Yeah. Yeah, pretty, pretty much cabin. what you see, this hull is literally the only thing left from this boat. Everything other than that has been replaced. We should go see the oh, you locked the door up already? No. I was gonna say we could show them show the interior too. I've got new interior as well. Well kind of new interior, interior from another boat. But it's a lot better than the interior that was in this boat right here. And but one day, hopefully soon, I'll have this thing on the water. We'll see what happens. Doc keeps talking me out of doing an LS swap in this thing. Comment below. Let me know what you think. I want to do like a 5.3 with a Bravo outdrive and maybe a small turbo setup possibly. I know they make uh, manifolds and everything for it, but Doc's like, don't do it. Conventional V8. Easy. That is a conventional V8. Yeah. A 5.3 is a conventional V8. Comment below, guys. Just a regular 5.7350 or an LS swap. You Let me like know below. 70 mile an hour with me when I was just cruising. Yeah, because you're cruising. I'm not driving. I, it's like airplanes. I hate airplanes unless I'm flying it. <laughs> then I'm okay with airplanes. Yeah, you probably jump out with a parachute too. Yeah, if I'm flying it. Yeah, I never figured out why somebody jumps out of a perfectly good operating plane. That's why I go to iFly. You don't have to worry about parachutes, man. There's a grate below you. They just hold you. You're good to go. We're probably going to do the cubby cabin in a totally different new setup as well. Um, so the whole cubby cabin in the front here is going to be different compared to what it was in the past. Very bland and stuff like that. I want to do new gauges in it and a radio and a sound system. You know how boats go. You know, break out another thousand. What's this? This one or that one? This one. Yep. Yeah, I, I told him that one's mine. 35 cigarette mistress. Yeah, that's that's my boat. <laughs> That one's going for sale in the Velocity 322. The Velocity's nice. Yeah, it's a 322 single world record. So record. going for sale or are, or are they for sale? They are for sale. Currently are for sale. What's all done? Do they have anything? Any There's innards? No motors in the cigarette, but everything else is there. So steering, yep. all that crap, new, out drive? New paint in 2000, drives are there, props go with it, all the upholstery's there. It's got hydraulic bolsters. Uh, we two pulled uh, two five zero two four sixty one HOs out of it. So it just needs just needs motors, and that's it. Everything was redone in two thousand. Transom has some rot right in the center. It's soft. Right uh, okay. The pipes. So it might Nothing need a transom, serious, maybe. But it needs a transom. It does need a transom. There I you go, guys. It. It's too much boat, too much power. Email me diabloformula at hotmail dot com, and I'll get you in touch with him if you're interested in that boat or that boat. What's wrong with this boat? Oh, uh, that one there. That's mine. Oh, you're not selling that one? No, that gets the two 950 blower motors put in. Oh, psh, slow. Should have been an LS swap. That's a, hard to get boat. That's a 33 Avanti. That's my boat. Uh -huh. <laughs> I, want him, I want him to all be my boat, and he won't let me have any of them. Family's family's cash is cash. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, that thing's pretty nice. That'll be nice when it's done, too, that big-ass thing. Yep. Yeah, we got a lot of plans for that one. No, oh, yeah. I picked it up at the end of last year. I remember when you picked it up. When I got the Pro Street GTO. Yeah. And 
between three of them and the Eliminator getting a blower motor in it. Oh, okay. I'm representing my Rough one Country one beanie. Go. Good old Rough Country. There's another boat in here. This is the fiberglass shop. Yeah, this is the fiberglass shop for Doc. This is where all the fiberglass is done. This is where the messy shit's done. <laughs> Bow pulpit was rotted. Yeah, that's what it looked like over here. Kind of, I guess. So, yeah, that's the. That's exactly what that looked like. This is the filler that was in between, and this is how bad the wood was on it. So that's... somebody could walk out. It was a gangplank. Snap, you were going down. Oh, oh, so that came off the front. That came off the front. This oh, was... okay. So you would have been food for jaws. See, this sticks up there. On oh, the top. I see, I see, I see. Okay. It comes through and everything. Okay. Yeah, I was wondering what, where that when you were talking about it up front. I'm like, where does it go? Well, that was rotted because yeah. somebody put screws in and didn't put sealer on them. And it got water and it, in it. It got water in it, and then it leaked through down into the cabin with staying in the upholstery. Oh, okay. That was the only water leak in the boat. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> That's hard on the ankle. Yeah. Let's see this interior. Yeah, at least what's, the what's left of it? <laughs> Is, is there anything like, no, is there anything old that's been, well, no, what's, is there anything old that's been thrown out? Like, that's the back with the two speakers. All your stuff from the original teardown of yeah, everything yeah. Has, was kept separate in the trailer. Okay. And then that was put in the boat when we covered the boat yeah. three years ago. Uh, with doing so, this is the bottom of your old back Yeah, seat, I remember that, yeah. this is some of the upholstery, the newer upholstery. Oh, okay. And, and then these flip, are the seats. These have the flip up bolts. Yeah, I remember seats. you told me that. Yeah, so like I got those. Bolts. Which are... Which are so, cool. Real nice stuff. Yeah. That, that'll look nice in the boat. We got some cup holders for our beer. Oh, yeah. You know, we can put speak. We, we should put like monitors in the no back. for drinking and driving. We should put monitors in the back for TVs for the kids and shit. You can in some <laughs> That'd be a good way of taking this out of there. Yeah, put a monitor back there. Yep. Have TVs back there and watch TV or whatever. All right, guys, we are back at the shop. Got the new plate slapped on the cobalt, so she is 110% legal again. Um, I'm be honest with you guys. I'm be honest. I do think I'm probably gonna sell the Cobalt. Um, I like the car. It's a great car, but I'm afraid it might have an omen on me or something. I don't know because you know so many crank sensors, a dipstick tube. Now everything's fixed. Everything runs good and it drives great. It's just I don't think the car likes me to be honest. So I have debate, been debating whether or not to get rid of that car and sell it. Um, if you're interested, if you're seriously interested in the car, um, give me a shout, DiabloFormula at Hotmail.com. Hit me up on Instagram at DiabloFormula, and maybe we can talk and see what happens. Um, but I don't know. I'm still on the fence about selling it. I, I might sell it. I might not. I don't know. It's just I'm, a, I'm scared to take it anywhere and drive it anymore because I think it's just going to have an issue with me. Um, you know, breakdowns and now, you know, the plate ended up getting taken. I'm like, it just can't get any worse. Thankfully, the plate was a mistake on PennDOT's part. I was able to get that fixed pretty efficiently just by showing them that, hey, yes, from this time to this time, it did actually have insurance on the car. So we're good to go there. Next video coming out, hopefully next video that's going to be coming out, is the good old Move Bumper Boys. I have that sucker sitting on the bench right now. Got some of the parts up here. The rest are in the front of the shop. But we are definitely going to be getting this bumper off. As you can tell, the front light is gone. The Oxbeam front LED H, uh, RGB light is no longer on front. I uninstalled that entire thing. I'm gonna be taking the fog lights out as well. And I'm gonna be needing new fog lights for the new bumper, but we definitely got to get that thing tacked up and at least tacked up and on. And then basically what I'm gonna do is, uh, you know, I'll tack it on the truck, I'll take it off, I'll put this bumper back on and then drive around with this bumper, obviously, until I can fully weld the move bumper all together because I got to weld it, I got to grind it, which I will be making videos about as well. And I also have to either powder coat it or Raptor line it, paint it, something, whatever. I got to do something with it before I install it back on. Plus I need to get a winch for it as well. I'm hoping to be able to get a rough country winch for the truck. Um, they make a really nice one with a nylon rope, which I'm very, very interested in. So I'm hoping to be able to get one of those for it or whatever, we'll see how it goes. But um, I'm super excited to see that bumper on this truck, I think it's gonna look, I think it's gonna look spectacular. It's gonna look spectacular. 
especially especially with the way the truck looks now i mean it just looks so mean i i freaking love it and then hopefully in the future hopefully in the future this badass truck will have a badass boat being towed behind it down to the chesapeake bay to do some boating which will be freaking amazing guys i'll be so happy i'm hoping to be able to work on the boat a little bit this winter um we'll see how things go there's still a lot to get done i still need to get an engine for it and a, and a uh, dr uh drive and out drive for it, which is probably gonna be a bravo one um it's 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 hard to say uh the boat's been sitting for a while and i kind of put it on the back burner burner because i've had other responsibilities to take care of and stuff um, but since most of my other responsibilities, personal wise, are taken care of, I think it's time that we get the boat up and running again, or at least running, because it never was running when I even bought it. It was, had a blown engine and rotted transom and stringers and everything. So other than that, guys, uh, look forward to those videos. Hopefully they'll be coming out and I can start showing you the piece together of the boat. And hopefully by summer, maybe spring before Zach leaves for the Marine Corps, we can get out on the water with the boat and enjoy some quality time with that thing. But who knows? Only time will tell, guys. Time will tell. But other than that, guys, let me know below if you're excited to see boat content. Uh, let me know below if you're not excited to see boat content. I know I'm, I'm excited to do boat stuff, like boating on the Chesapeake. You know, that'd be, that'd be pretty awesome. Um, but we'll just see what happens, guys. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell as well. That way you get updated on all future videos coming out. For example, you know, like the, the move bumper video, my, my sleeve's coming down on me. You know, like the move bumper video that's coming out here soon and all that stuff. So uh, there you go, guys. Other than that, I am getting back to work and doing what I got to do. Deuces.